Good morning, Penny. Good morning, Gracie. I don't even see you there, Willow. Where are you? Good uh, morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is Friday, the best day of the week. The best day. Oh, no. I forgot all Penny's medicine. I have to go back up to the house. Sophie had to go back to the house to change her shirt because she couldn't fit her coat over her shirt. Gabby had to go back to the house to let the little dogs in. And now I have to go back to the house to get Penny's medicine. Can you believe it? Like, this is a crazy day. Passing them all on the way. Oh, I forgot Penny's medicine. I'll meet you there. I forgot Penny's medicine. First heart of the day. Do you guys see that? This is the very first time I've ever seen a butterfly. But I found a butterfly. It's gorgeous. Take two. Take two. I'll be right there, Penny Pickle. Right, time to do the eye test, you guys. The eye test, Penny Pickle. You are winning it. You are winning it. I have no treats for you. <gasps> She's like, but yesterday was a treat day. All right, we are ready to roll. Are you guys ready to roll? All right, we are releasing the, the ponies. Ah, you need to wait. Wait. I just want you guys to see that the scared, scaredy cat Laura standing in the middle of this stall door open with a girl who wants to go and be with her friends. And I'm not so scared. She's so good. Okay. Ah, wait. 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 Good girl. That should get a treat, shouldn't it? Good girl. All right. Watch out. Here she comes. I forgot to close that door even, but I didn't even have like a fear in the world that she was gonna run past me. Anyway, welcome to today. It's cold as heck, but the sun is shining. It may be shining behind a lot of clouds, but there is always sun behind every cloud, you guys. I can stare at one thing in the room or outside and not blink for a really long time. Last night I was thinking about how I described Penny when we first got her and I described her as like angry. Did you just, would you describe her as angry when we got her? Like she was mad. She was mad all the time. She wanted to be like loving, but like, I don't know. I felt like she was mad all the time. And it's today and yesterday and the day before that, I would not describe Penny as mad. I would not describe her as mad. Get your team Finch merch. Get your Team Finn merch. It's still available, but not for long. We're getting ready to change our merch soon. No! But we might bring them back. We might bring them back like at Christmas or whatever. Let's show them again. Sophie's wearing her, ro Sophie is rocking her Team Finn shirt. I love it. I think I'm going to get myself a t-shirt. Finn thinks that um, it should have slobber at the mouth, so he makes the head slobbery. There is. Bet you Penny ran behind there so she could roll and nobody could watch. Willow is. Oh, she did. She went behind the barn and rolled. She's like, you will not watch me. She's very private like Gabby. I'm headed out alone today. Uh, the girls are gonna do school. Sometimes they have to stay home while and do school, catch up on stuff. So they know what they need to do, so they're gonna do that. Today I'm picking up baby Jack. I have to babysit him. One of the few things that we're allowed to do is people that have essential, um, people who are essential obviously need childcare and today's one of those days, his parents need childcare. So I'm gonna go pick up baby Jack and bring him back here for a couple hours and then take him back and then go to the bar. I'm like, it's just gonna be a crazy day. But before we go, I, before we before we go, I wanted to tell you guys something crazy. I didn't really get to touch on it too much yesterday, but um, when Penny came to me yesterday, it was one of the most overwhelming feelings of life I didn't even think about how I set it up. I set it up all wrong. Like, for her to actually choose me, she had to cross over her line. She had to change direction. It would have just been so easy for her to go to Sam, standing there, right in front of her with a treat. But to get to me and choose my treat, she had to cross over a bunch of things and change direction. And she, she did it. She still did it. And she chose me. It was amazing, you guys. It was probably one of the You guys know. No other horse really ever chose me before. Like, other horses have come to me when we've done that challenge, but she specifically chose me. Like, Storm always chooses Gabby, and it was, it was unbelievable. I'm excited to continue with our course. It's really helping me. 
hopefully the girls will get something out of it as well but I'm really excited to come out in the spring so much more connected and so much stronger with Penny but I'm just anyway I just want to share that with you guys how overwhelming and amazing it really was that she actually chose me like all right let's go get Jack okay so I got the Jack he's here say hi Jack say hi he, he's oh he just said it and I'm getting the girls Starbucks because they begged me. I'm a sucker for them. I'm a sucker for them. And we have a busy day and a little bit of caffeine always goes a long way with Gabby. All right, we got Jack here. Nana's going to go find some toys for him so he doesn't have to play with dog toys or all that stuff that he's interested in. Yeah, that, that is a little cup. Nana will clean it and get you, get, give it back to you. Say hi. Hi. Say, I'm Jack. Hi. Say, I'm Jack. Swear. No, don't swear. Come here, look. Jack. Cheese. Tell them how tell them how you cheese. Tell them how you count to ten. Cut. One. Cheese. Three. Cheese. Four. Five. Six. Cheese. Over here. Look. Are you sure? Uh, uh, Seven. Uh, eight. <laughs> He actually can count to 10 really good. Jack's superpower is that he's always happy, loves everybody. Ball. A big ball, Nana brought you a big ball upstairs. <laughs> Whoa. A ball. A ball. So Jack is turning two years old next week. That is Nana's laptop. Not a good spot for it, is it? Okay, so anyways, Jack's here. We're gonna do some fun stuff. I'm gonna go get him some toys. Can we do? Art. Can you watch him for a minute? Well, Can we do art? Do you think Jack would like to do art? I would. You want to do, want to color Jack? Do we have paint? All right, so Gabby wants to show us a new oh, trick Molly. that she taught Molly. Hey, come here. Molly, Everybody stay. but Molly. Oh. Okay. Go, go, go. Molly. Oh. Becca. 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 Nope. We've only practiced it that way. Come here. Becca. Nope. Becca. See, treat. Back up. Good girl. Yay. Nope. I know it's complicated and small. Like, that's the thing Back with Border up. Collies. They can do anything. Like, they learn anything. She does not better going that way. All right, do it that way. You're just going to the wall, dog. Come here. I can't Back up. Back up. Back up. Good girl. All right, I'm not trying to overdo the jack footage, you guys, but I'm really proud of him. He's not even two yet. And watch this. Jack, what number is this? One. One. Let's see. What number is this, Jack? One. What's this one? Seven. No, it's not seven. That's eight. Say eight. 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 What number is this, Jack? Two. Two. What number is this? Oh. Oh. It's actually zero, but you know what I'm saying. What number is this, Jack? No, that's not that's not seven. What number is this? What number is it? Seven eight. Seven eight. It's five. Okay. So my point is, he knows a lot of numbers. He recognizes a lot of letters, like almost all of them, with a little bit of. Jack, what's this? Three. Three. See, <laughs> he knows them. What's this? Oh, my point is, my, my grandson is My smart. point is, I love this kid. I know, it's hard not to love him. Like, I he is, so, I know, I want to keep him too. He's like the best little kid. All right, so I was holding Jack's hand, and he's like, don't hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Here she comes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Here she comes. Molly. Molly. Here she comes. Molly. <laughs> Wait. Let me help you. Nothing better than a laughing baby. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Are they the doggies? He loves the dogs. Okay. All right. Let's go in Nana's barn. We did so many things. We colored. We did activities. And the thing we had lunch. And the thing he liked the best were the mitts. Show them your mitts. 
Remember where your mitts are? I don't think he's ever had mitts before, but he loves them, you guys. I put mitts on him. We just walked down to the barn before I take him home. I want to make sure that the ponies have enough food to last them. Right? You want to see? Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see. See if my girl's coming to me. Oh, yeah, she is. You coming? I know, I got a baby in here. Babies are weird. You coming? She's thinking about it. Oh, he's a good girl. Good girl. Yes, I have a baby. Do you want to see a baby? I wonder what she'd do with a baby. Whoa! What's that? It's a big doggy. It's a big doggy, Jack. Look at that dog. It's a horse. What does the horsey say? Nay. Nay. Oh, she wants to smell you. She's like, who is that boy? A beast. A beast? Big horsey. Say, uh, say hi, horsey. He's like, let me run in that arena. When you're a nana and you have a, an arena, it's like going to the beach in winter. <laughs> don't touch his mitt. He's saying, don't touch my mitt. Show, show him your mitts. Show her your mitts. Show her the mitts Nana gave you. You like the little one? He's like, I want that one. <laughs> you like the pony? It's so funny because I never get a chance to video it, but before we got locked down again, my niece would bring her kids to ride Gracie and they were really good. <laughs> you don't like her? Um, so they're the same age as Brooklyn and Jacob basically. And the older guy, he, he's like, Brooklyn's a little nervous. He gets on Gracie and I like make my sister or her daughter lead them around. And as soon as I like turn my back, they let him hold the reins. They let him trot around on her and he is brave. She puts her head down and he just lifts himself right back and pulls the reins back up. Like he rides her really, really well. And I've noticed that she's like a really good little lead line pony. I, I'm in love with her. All right, you want to go back up for a walk? You want to go back for a walk? Lots of, lots of hay out there for those ponies. All right, let's go. Um, the reason that the barn that we bought her from saw, stopped using her as a lead line pony and stopped using her as like an actual show pony, she's a really uh, good show pony, uh, she got really spooky. Remember I told you a long time ago she was our spookiest horse? A long time ago, she's not now. Probably Penny is now. May, yeah, probably Penny. So after she lived with us like through the summer and stuff, all of a sudden that just went away. I th and so they said like she probably was just done being a school pony and that's probably exactly what it was. She just like has a home now instead of a school situation, a family of her own. And she just settled right in and she's not spooky anymore. So now I feel really confident letting my sister's grandsons ride her. I'm really excited for a time when Oh, my grandkids are bigger and bolder and are really ready to ride. Like, she's excellent. Okay, we're going the wrong direction. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> Penny's like, wait, you're not gonna play with me? Ah, tomorrow, Penny. Today I'm too busy, I promise, tomorrow. Okay, so we're at the bar now. Baby, baby Jack was amazing and fun, but now it's time to check on our boys. Hopefully Chino's doing really well. My groin stopped hurting. I told you guys in a couple of videos ago that I think I start, I think I feel what my horses feel. This is the third time now I felt, maybe the fourth time where I felt pain in the same spot that our horses have been injured. Next time, and I didn't believe it, I didn't believe it, but now I kind of believe it. So the next time I start to feel pain, I'm gonna be looking around at our animals and see. What the heck is happening? Anyway, we're at the barn. Puppy's in the washroom. I gotta pee so bad. And Sophie came in before us, before I parked, and she was going to, and she was gonna go to the bathroom, and then now suddenly she's missing. Like, I don't see her in there. I don't see her around there, so she's either about to jump out. <laughs> I knew you were somewhere. Where are you? In storm stall. Okay. Wait, I gotta pee. Wait, wait, I have to pee. This is a problem. Sophie. Sophia. 
Okay, so Gabby's gonna, oh, does that look like blood? No. That's horrifying. It's from the hay. I doubt there'd be that much. That's sugar, I think. I think it's the sugar from the hay getting wet, but doesn't it look like blood? Gabby's horses are here. I told Gabby, she's gonna walk up to Storm, turn your body off and don't be assertive. Be gentle. So what I think, like what the course leader said is that depending on how you walk up to your horse, it can be rude. Like sometimes your horse is spooky saying, hello. <laughs> sometimes it can be considered rude. And I think that's what she does. I think she's rude. I think Storm thinks that Gabby's rude. And she kind of is rude. So check his feet. So we might get to ride Chino today. He's got to see if he's sound. And he won't be jumping and he won't be doing anything crazy because he's been off for like about five weeks. So we have to bring him back into work. No, your horse is not there. All right, who did she pick? Who did she pick, you guys? Uh-oh. Makes me nervous when she's checking both their feet. Do they both have their shoes? Awesome. So Gabby's gonna see if Chino's lame. His leg is still swollen, just a tiny bit though. Like, it, I don't think we would have even noticed. I, I would be with Chino too. I would be standing on that. Yeah, like it's it. so soft and so fluffy. So yeah, definitely. Storm's already on the run. But he wasn't running from Gabby. He was running from Oakley. Because Oakley, 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 Oakley was being rude. And probably not over there. I don't see him. Oh, Finn is over there. Where? There's Oakley following me. Oh, I see Finn. I think that's Sam Hi, trying Finn. to call me. When I'm like in the middle of the field with horses and dealing with horses. Oh, Storm's trotting. Not, oh gosh. It's not easy for me to just, especially with gloves and dealing with purses and winter stuff. It's weekly. hard for me to just grab my phone. I have a weekly tooth, so I'm gonna be playing with it the whole ride, and I'm gonna be the distracted one. The last tooth I remember losing was when I was 10 years old. You're crouching. I'm 11, crouching. so. I know. You stop it. Yeah, you're, you're special. All the horses stand there looking at me, every single one of them. Because I don't play with it until it's like really wiggly. Right, where's then, your horse? Right oh, here. I see him. <laughs> He's always so alert, like, hmm, are you coming for me? And Storm's just going to hay. So, Storm's not putting out the alert. Run! I'm glad you're friends with the turkeys. I'm pointing my belly button out at you. Oh, point your belly button down. Yeah. He doesn't seem like he cares. <laughs> Aww. Great job, Sophie. See, he just joined up with her. He was like, yeah, she asked him, do you want to work today? And he said, sure, I'll go with you. I did not want you guys though, even though you're all cute. Sophie learned a lot from that course. It's, not, it's only like, we're only two weeks in and it's for 12 weeks. So we're gonna practice more of the stuff. I'm gonna watch the videos again because I'm not perfect at a lot of it. And then. Did you see him come up to me and touch me? Yeah, I did. Did you give him a treat? No, I don't have treats. So yeah, we don't always give treats. I said yes, and he was like, oh, is that a new Did you give him a scratch? If you don't have a treat, you should give him something that he likes. A nice scratch? I said yes, and then good boy. <laughs> but remember, it's not a treat unless you give him something that makes his life better, like a scratch. Like a scratch? Like a scratch. Oops, sorry. Mom. Sorry. He doesn't like you doing that. Yes, he does. You should clue in. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Dear. Yeah, you... uh oh. oh Gabby's coming back with a lead rope and no horse. Yeah, Not sound? You want me to come with you? No. Gabby said it didn't look that bad, but obviously she's not gonna ride him. My helmet is so comfy, it's like I didn't even have it on. Except for this part, because my other helmet, when it was tight, it would be back here choking me. And then Lou so it would stay back here, and this one's close, so I would suggest getting a 1K. Save up all your money for a 1K. Or ask for it for Christmas. I know. Ask for it for your birthday. Easter. All right. Easter. So we're going out to ride. We got nothing today. Like Gabby and I are, are ew, Finn, you chewed it in my face. That was disgusting. Between Daisy and Finn, man, 
I could use some air freshener. So before we leave, Gabby's gonna hand walk Chino. Because he's out there with no, not a friend in sight and seems to be quite happy doing it. And we don't want any problems to happen again. COVID is getting me down. We're day two into lockdown. I mean, we've always been into lockdown. We're still allowed, like a lot of the rules are the same. We're allowed five people outside. So we could probably even ride with five people because this is pretty much outside with the doors open. It's freezing in here. It's the same as being outside, lots of wind. It just really sucks not having our friends, like I'm not seeing our trainers and we're struggling without our trainers. We're making bad habits and we're, we're getting bad habits and we have problems that we can't fix on our own that we need trainers for. Like, it's just a really big struggle and I know a lot of you guys are going through the exact same thing. Hey, crazy story you guys. I took Chino for the longest walk. I took him all the way, that's why I look like this. My face is frozen. I'm frozen, I'll show you what I saw. So I took him to the farthest field. I took him to the end of the farthest field. It's the farthest I've ever walked on this property and I've walked pretty far. So now I know what the whole, the whole property looks like now. So I walk him there and he was good. Like before when his front feet were sore, he didn't want to move. This time he's like, yeah, fine. He didn't care if he was moving or not. So I walk him all the way there and I'm trying to do some natural liberty stuff with him the whole way. I'm trying to bond with him. I'm trying to like make him feel good. And so we get all the way to the end of the property. We get halfway across the field, the big field that they, they run on. We get halfway there and he's like, wait, it's just you and me. I do not want this anymore. I just want to be with my friends. But I said, no, come on. You got me. I'm good. Like, let's go. So he did. He walked the whole field, didn't even put up with us. But I could tell that he did not want to be with me. So we get to the end and I'm like, I'm going to take off his halter and see if I can get him to walk with me, which is one of the exercises <laughs> that we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be doing her homework. So I take off his halter and I no sooner get it off and he gallops away. He had galloped all the way, didn't even stop to collect any friends along the way. He galloped all the way past his friends. I'm walking and walking. It takes me like another half an hour to get back. I'm walking and I'm like waiting to see what I'm gonna see. Let me see if I can see. <laughs> this is what I saw. But he wasn't standing there. He was actually standing behind that poop pile. Hand standing behind it with his head pointed out, looking in my direction to see if I was coming to get him. It was really funny. It, it was probably funnier if you were here. I was laughing my head off. It is supper time now and all the horses that go in to eat, they all come to the gate. They can all tell time. They all know the only one not here I think is Oakley. Everybody else is here waiting to go in for supper. <laughs> so funny though, like I really like that walk. I'm gonna try and do it again and again and again and see if I can get him to like join up with me and want to be with me and accept me as his friend. Right, big boy? Yeah. Yeah. Fist bump? Yeah. Good boy. Yes, you are such a good boy. I don't know who that is, but I do not want to be between the two of you. Such a handsome boy. Yes, you are. All right, well, thanks for the walk. It was wonderful. Don't eat his rope. We are headed home. Girls are... Oh, pure ice underneath all this water. When the temperature drops, I bet you it just it freezes up. Anyway, we're headed home. We're gonna get some supper and have Friday night. We never post extra videos on Friday nights because it's our night to like do family stuff and hang out. We just edit the regular vlog. So we're gonna go do that. And tomorrow, I'm gonna show you guys the new trick that Gabby was working on all day with, with Molly. It's a good one. See you guys later. So I walked, you know, all the way to the field, to the end of the field, you know, the one that they race around, uh -huh. that I have to stand guard at. Yeah. Walked him all the way there and he walked beautifully. He was happy to be walking. He runs back. I took off the halter, he galloped all the way back. Didn't even stop at the covered feed station. He went all the way back to the gate. Yeah. Galloped. It's almost supper time anyway. I know, they're all standing out there ready to eat. You know, he doesn't really come in until after the first bunch of horses here. Yeah, yeah, he's in the second patch. We are headed home. Girls are, whoa, pure ice underneath all this water. When the temperature drops, I bet you it just, it freezes up. Anyway, we're headed home. We're gonna get some supper and have Friday night. We never post extra videos on Friday nights because it's our night to like do family stuff and hang out. We just edit the regular vlog. So we're gonna go do that. And tomorrow, I'm gonna show you guys the new 
trick that Gabby was working on all day with with Molly. It's a good one. See you guys later. Don't you know that you're beautiful?